know, you know the problem to first time. Well, it's a security, security issue. You yeah. know when to it's strike. A, it's, 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 you know, you know. Let me tell you. When, when you're talking about uh, government, mm -hmm. the primary duty of government is to establish order by making sure that they protect the lives of you know lives of people. So you are so saying they are starting rather uh, late. Late, but at least it's a welcome development. But they should make sure that they monitor the enforcement. The enforcement. It's not only giving directive. So it should not be abused. Right? Abused, yeah. Because that, you know, there was a time the president order even the high, you know, some police officers to go and uh, uh, protect people in certain areas. Even the president of police. Didn't, uh, you know, uh, he didn't go there. He didn't go there. I think you know? it was in Benue or whatever. Uh, yeah, he yeah. didn't go there. So, well, you know, we, we should just, just encourage them to do the needful. Because it is a when you talk about security, it's not only about the people, but about those people who are supposed to secure them. Because when you talk about uh, who police the police, if they don't police us very well, you know people will revolt. So and the police problem. needs to be police. <laughs> police, <yeah. laughs> Okay, that's interesting. Well, as a political yeah. scientist, I want mm -hmm. us to look at an issue. Um, we read in the news a couple of days ago mm -hmm. that uh, um. Yes, some wiki, mm. the river state governor mm. that is sued <laughs> the, the PDP and uh, even Tambual, you know. <laughs> but uh, he came out to say he did not. And uh, later on, uh, another news came up, and uh, there was one Dr. Cosmo Zindukwe <laughs> who said uh, it was him who did it. Um, what do you think is playing out there? What's wrong? Uh, you know, this is a season of real politics, and one thing that is very common has to do with the personal interest of the stakeholders the actors but at this time that uh you know some reconciliation you know has been uh <laughs> been made you know to make sure that <laughs> Alaja, Tiku, Abudaka, uh, and Yesu and come together. Together. you know it has to do with their individual interest which will involve the kind of decision they are going to make each of them each stakeholder even beyond article beyond wiki Everybody is looking at what am I going to do and what will be the consequence. You can see recently when the reconciliation, whatever is going on, he is okay, he's you know, hosting APC members. Exactly, I was coming to that. Romancing. Why can what kind of romance? You know, you know, you know, when you are talking about you know political interest, it has to do with what you know you are going to you know make sacrifice for and you are going to receive gains. Because if we can, you know, consider the reconciliation, whatever committee, whatever, what they bring to the table, and they allow him to go, what would be, you know, uh, his gains if Atiku Agubaka loses the election? Okay. You understand? So you have to calculate very well. You know, you remember that uh, statement made by Osio Amoli? Come to our party and, you know, say no yeah, more. So, so, we'll, we'll you understand? Yeah. So, most of the governors they have a lot of cases to answer you know to answer and that is why he's very you know you know you know very careful he's taking you know his time so are you say we cannot he, write it off he cannot write, he can go that to we can go to APC ah, look at Badabia Miller he, he told Badabia Miller he said I sat down with those who you no know, plotted against you not to become a uh, no. The, the, uh, uh, no. Uh, the speaker, speaker of, of, the of the the and the man also you know said you know, he responded I said that the, those who sat with you to plot against me are uh, those who sat at the Eagle Square and plotted against you so that you didn't you know become a uh, 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 mm -hmm. the figure you know it's a game of you know uh, interest is at play now and ma majority of them base their decision on what they foresee to happen in the future. Now, what will you say gave Atiku Abubakar the yeah. infantry to say he could win elections without VK? You know, what, what political calculation? calculation yeah, calc you, know, you know, two things. Right. Number one, has to do with his, you know, his experience. He's been in politics. Okay. You, you know, you are talking about, even as far back as 1992, mm -hmm. you know, he stepped down he for Babagana Kingibe to become the the first president was aspirant yeah, to, to Abiola. Abiola, Abiola. 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 Right. Now, he has been the vice president. And, you know, he said it. He said it has been his long time ambition yeah. to be the president of Nigeria. Oh, and just like I showed you too. Yeah, the same thing. And, you know, he has the financial work with that. 
God. In fact, the man, uh, Atiku, uh, no, uh, Tinobu said, when there was no signal that it's going to what win the ticket, he said, if that ticket goes to another person, he will support Atiku. To really see the kind of you know connection between these two politicians. What kind of people are we? It, that, that, no, they are very close. You know, it has to do with interest. It's not about national interest. It's not about you know their manifesto. It's not about any ideology. It's what they have already set aside for themselves and for their family and their cronies. And that is why people should not be fighting over this uh, over over or any politician because they know where to connect. Let. You know, let after after finishing the election in 2023, you see what will happen. So many coalitions, so many moving, you know, here and there. And that's why whatever step Buke is going to take now, he should be very careful. If he decides to support, you know, Atiku, let it be clear that he will face the consequences. Okay. You understand? And if he decides to dump to APC and PDP wins the election, he should also want you know be very you know ready to face the consequences and that is why he's delaying and he's making sure that uh, if he goes back to pdp there must be something substantial because now there is nothing substantial for him he was aiming to become the five presidential candidate and even the report by the committee set up to pick the presidential candidate favored him yeah. but because of his antecedent and Atiku is, you know, you know, you know, remember what he witnessed under uh, Obama just administration as the vice president. Mm. You know the time, you know the kind of tough time he gave to Obama. Yeah, when you say so, president, you mean the toughness. <laughs> the toughness. In Wiki. Yeah, okay. you understand. So, so Wiki, Atiku is a bit. Uh, and when you look at it, Wiki is more, you know, on ground when you talk about party politics, politics yes. than Atiku. Atiku has traveled all over. You know, moving from BDP to has been on ground. On ground, and this man, if not because Tambua step as you know down, yes. and they don't understand. That's why they said we can have got to the we have got to the because even those who support, he, thought, he said it now. Said those who he sponsored to Abuja. Wow. <laughs> you understand? You know, gave them everything. They turned their back against him because money pass money. Mm. That is what is you know what they have turned. That's why. You know, you see all these politicians, they are very, very what bold to come out and say we will win the election. Because they know what it takes. And that's money. You know, when we talk about you know candidate personality, a party structure, and all those things, it doesn't matter. You can see the two from the two elections, you know, the by uh, the, the uh, off season election that we you know, call the yeah. in the Kitty and also state. Oh, sure. Right. You see the you know the level of vote buying and vote selling. They are not campaigning again. How many of them did you see on the street campaigning? You know, like before. You know why you want to contest you know, a post? You will go out. It's not one to one. It's, you know, we will see you campaigning, addressing audience, you know, attending a, a political debate and all those things. But they don't go do that. What do they do now? They go to our neck office and get the, the register, register of the voters. Voters register. Look at it. How many people register to vote in this area? How many votes do I need? Multiply by you know ten thousand naira, they are ready to pay. You are taking me back to Oshun State. <laughs> I thought I'd ended <laughs> or, or finished with Oshun State. You cannot, you know, you know. You see, something <laughs> is funny about the Oshun State case, mm. and that issue because uh, I think I've handled it in the last two weeks, mm. but it's coming up again. Yeah. And as a political scientist, uh, I want to look at your own angle. Yeah, that when an election is conducted in a primary, mm. and uh, the right candidates mm. or delegates you want to say mm. voted and when the right delegates did not vote mm. <laughs> what are the implications or what is supposed to be the consequences you know, the, the problem with political parties in nigeria yeah is that they don't follow due process all of them all of them so it means and I'm that is why you know you have crisis in pdp you have crisis in apc even in labor what does INEC stand for? What is it supposed to do? You know, INEC, you know, we have already we've said it. When um, uh, President Yaradua came in, okay. he came out to, you know, to tell Nigeria the whole truth, that the election that brought, that brought him, him in was flawed. Roger, yeah. He set up a committee, electoral reform committee, reform committee yeah. 
even the the, the then uh, Jaga was part of the committee. Yeah. And they came out. Let us unbundle INEC. INEC faced the issue of conduct of election. Let there be a commission that will regulate the affairs of political parties. INEC cannot be everywhere. You understand? INEC and the the role of INEC in is to monitor the affairs of political parties. Are you saying to some extent? If they can, uh, INEC, or in the list that maybe INEC mm. is also being bought somehow. What do you think? You know, you know, INEC. You know, there is no way we can exonerate uh, INEC in this issue because there was a time Ibrahim Mantu. Ibrahim Mantu. Yeah. You know, he opened <laughs> the Pandora box. <laughs> he said, "This is the way we win election. This is the way." We oh, win. Yes. INEC boys police security mm. agents all of them he came out yeah. and nobody has arrested him and taken him to court and no one no one has denied has even said anything anything contrary contrary INEC is trying through administrative reform procedure or whatever they are doing but this is not enough because you are talking about attitude Hmm. Attitude is different from all this technical whatever. Uh, we are going to transmit a uh, result, you know, via whatever. Is is it not a human being that will transmit? Abi. Is it not what is transmitted that you are going to see? Yeah. And you know, some people are even saying that uh, the impression that INEC is giving us that uh, oh, they get result direct from a polling unit. That if somebody get the original from ECF ECA forty, the result uh, is it? Yeah. And they now snap fake one and post and post and somebody now you know bring original which one are they going to take? Oh my god! You know we have to solve the problem of attitude. Attitude. Attitude is not problem, right from the political elite, and that is why we have not gotten it right right from 1999. Integrity issue. It is it's, it's there. It's everywhere. You know, look at what we are talking about. Also, problem. We are talking about you know problem in the a sector you are talking about people moving out of the country is how to do with attitude if some people are ready to die here and you are not rewarding them and some people are stealing and you are talking about you know a part of plea bargaining or else says that is what we do i know i know you know you know the plea <laughs> some people say plea Bargaining yeah. is a fraud in itself. A fraud in Nigeria. It's a criminal. It's, it's a criminal. In fact, you know, I I have been telling people that Nigerian people have been so. Tell me what is the meaning of that plea bargaining? You know, plea bargaining, you know, has to do with uh, discussing with somebody that has been accused. Okay. You know, either, you know, either way, mm -hmm. the accused yeah. telling you, okay, drop these charges against me. And I, I'm ready to, you know, hold up. It means the yeah. accused have accepted. Yeah. That truly. He has done committed it. You know, that they call some people witness of truth in the law court. Those who don't waste time of the judges. Hmm. Are you guilty? I am guilty. Please, can you do this and do this for me so that I can do this and can do that? Because if you accuse somebody of stealing uh, or looting the treasury, okay you don't know where the money is kept you don't know where what you are going to get the money even if you put that person in prison you will not get anything no? some people are ready to loot the treasury and go to you know uh, the prison you know for three years and come back and the money is with them now dr lafemwa mm. at this juncture mm. i want to ask you yes where do we place the war against corruption of president muhammad buhari yeah Looking at the case of uh, the suspended uh, accountant general of the federation, we are talking of billions, I'm and billions. And you are talking of plea bargaining, and is going to return some billions. He, he, he know, he what kind of, of it's an trash. insult? It's an insult to us. Look at it. Even to me in the academics, it's an insult upon injury, because somebody who is supposed to oversee IPPIS that also was against. Yeah. Now the man is caught with 170 billion error that he really came from this program from this system. And you know, let me tell you from 2015 up to date, what Buhari government has given us is 70 billion. So if they if they have given us that 170 billion, you know what it what it means. 
our children will not be at home. No, in all this, in so all in all, in all, the, the what the, let me tell you what the problem that is there okay. is lack of political will. Is it about it, political will? Political will. You know, why you are coming? Don't you see a conspiracy at some level? Let, let me tell you. Let me tell you. accountant general alone. Yeah, let me, it's not alone. Okay. Let me tell you. you know, the problem has to do with uh, when the people that are supposed to do the needful, the body language is so the negative. Mm. It's so contrary. You know, you look at Mr. President, somebody that is old, very weak hands, you know, somebody that is surrounded with people that do not have you know they have credibility problem okay it's a problem you know if if you are uh, if you uh, are determined you are committed to a cause let me give you an example when Buhari was there with idi agma look at the political will look at the, you know they will come to the market you know they don't need they don't need to tell you to kill even when you don't see police uh, you know around or you know, enforcement, you will kill not many mm. not not mining that that was a military era era some people say then yeah president muhammad Buhari. i mean the head of state then general yeah. muhammad Buhari, yes was much younger and uh, active now they say he probably does not know what is going on do you believe he doesn't know what is going on let me tell you he knows what is going on he only permit because he lacks capacity to control wow you understand you can be in a position now you are, you are in the studio do we know what's outside there no but if you have somebody that is credible Someone that is trustworthy. Monitoring. You're monitoring. You know, you, 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 you go, those go and sleep. You don't need to worry yourself. But when they have told you that uh, that person that is there, hey, be watchful. And the man has said. As you are sitting down here, your mind will not be at rest. The man says he's tired. He's tired. But he, no, he, he does not look at what happened in Britain. Bless it, the man left. This man, they know something happened. The, man, the, the, the prime minister was to resigned. He resigned, yeah. You understand? But because what is at stake here is very huge why can't our president resign if he was it, tired i'm telling you the stake the stakes you know you are talking about the access to, you know the, the the president of nigeria i'm telling you is more expensive to maintain him than the president of america wow. so that's why look, look, look can you can you now say somebody collecting 23 million naira as a, as a legislator will resign because of what is happening in the country they don't care they, they don't care even when they are impeached they are still there as members if you are just joining us this is a giddy go 88.7 fm but on your state nigeria the program is the most seats and your own life to the kule hamzat studios you can join us in this discussion on 0704100187 0704100187 and if you're calling in from outside nigeria Plus two three four nine zero six two zero one zero eight eight seven. The studio lines are open and uh, you can join us. But very quickly, okay, let me pick this one. Okay. Yeah. yeah good afternoon. Welcome to the hot seat. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, sir. Your name, please, and where you calling from? I'm I'm SB Abordinary sir, not okay. Thank you for always joining us, SB Abordinary sir. Yeah. Baba is not tired. Baba is not tired. Yes. <laughs> Okay, oh, yeah. go ahead, sir. This <laughs> has to do with his own interest. You will know that Baba is not there. How many more does it take him to pay one point something billion to the public to buy cars? Why was he not dragging his feet like he is doing as he is doing for the uh, artist? Thank you very much, sir. Uh, Mr. Yes, sir. Yeah. I think you, are, you have made your point, have you? I want to put another one. Okay, quickly, sir. <laughs> How long did it take to give Af Afghanistan one billion dollars? If he's interested in something, you will know that he's not tired. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Mr. Esbjerg, for doing from Akwete. <laughs> now, um, Dr. Lafema. Yeah, you know, look at that. Yeah. Let's Let issue of diplomacy, mm. international diplomacy, diplomatic mm. relations. Mm. What do you see to that? It, Could President Mahmoud Buhari Let me tell you. Is an agenda, not diplomatic diplomacy. I see. Because when you're talking about Nigeria, okay. Nigeria is not only, you know, consists of people that are living in the north. Okay. We have people that are living in the south. As they have affinity, cultural, you know, geographical, whatever affinity with Niger, 
I mean those people in the northern area. Yeah, yeah. We also have affinity in the southwest here with people living in the Benin Republic. Okay. And Togo and Ghana. And some people even in the south south, they also have affinity with living people living, living in Cameroon. But have, how many times have you had the president having any project that will you know has to do with the southwest here? Yeah. Even Lagos and uh, uh, Kotonu. And you know the count, you know the, the volume of you know businesses. Yeah. That we have between Nigeria and the Republic, okay. but now you can see how more than invested, you know, in Niger, and you know you have to link it with the all those policies from the presidency. One has to do with the Ruga, the other one is Water B. That's as you know, sister, 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 sister. I hope because that. the problem of of, of Lake Chad is given, you know, most of them who are pastoralists, you know, they have you know rare yeah. animals, they have to have access to water. And that's why they are saying that uh, waters, you know, or whatever they should. Let me see whether we will be able to visit that. But very quickly, mm -hmm. let me pick this call. Okay. Good afternoon. This is Agidi Go on 88.7 FM. Hello? Hello, good afternoon. Yeah, good afternoon, sir. Your name, where are you calling from, please? I'm Father Do calling from the Kuma Payolodo. Father Do from the Kuma Payolodo, okay. I'm on that just say. I supported people like President Buari because of his integrity status. But unfortunately, the majority of people that surrounded him don't believe his initial ambition. And that's why he had to work on show that he could not accept that. Unless, that's what you have to do. That's not what you have to do. You don't do for that and you don't monitor that for that. So people are exposing such weakness. That's what you have to do. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. Very quickly onto our Facebook page. Let's see yeah, what okay. we can take from there. Yeah. The please hold your thoughts. You, I know you wanted to yeah, come on, no but problem. let me just deal with this. Mm -hmm. The directives given to our uh, okay, Prince uh, Alamite is here. Good afternoon. Great job. Thank you. Todo Lopre Adeyemi says good afternoon, uh, Mr. Laulu. The directives given to our security agencies by our president to put an end to this menace of insecurity is good. But this is not the first time the president will be talking mm. the talk without any meaningful mm. actions. Okay, let's hope uh, the actions will oh. <laughs> come. And uh, Akinwale Tunde Olalikon says, the law of plea bargain and uh, security vote are the biggest corruption ever in Nigeria. That's another one, security vote. Mm. And uh, Murayo Fola Shadi says, he's tired and he refused to get off from that seat. It is well. <laughs> Muraya Falashadi again says, Well done, sir, Mr. Laulu. Okay, the Lord is your strength. Amen. And you too. Akuwale Tunde Olalikon says, All these politicians are. Oh my God, I've never met this vocabulary before. Okay, mm -hmm. they are all the same. Okay, what they care for is their pocket. I think you said that. Mm -hmm. You were trying to come up with something before I yeah. started. You know, you know, what I've noticed in our politicians is that uh, yeah. majority of them are not prepared for governance. They struggle for power, they struggle to maintain power, but at the end of the day, they don't deliver services to Nigeria. In the energy, they are devoting to struggling for power, to retain power, have been what you know, vested in a infrastructure or whatever development. We will have you know grown, but because they will tell you long term ambition. No, I've been dreaming to become president, <laughs> but do you have any vision for Nigeria? And most of you know, in most cases. When you ask them, what's the vision? To become, to become is not a vision. It's been a long time. Yeah. I heard about uh, what do you call it now? Uh, manifestos or whatever. Manifest for where? They will tell you that we will, Nigeria will become. Nigeria will become. In fact, look at the the the, 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 the constitution. That's where Nigeria will be first. You know, first source changed. Hello. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Not, uh, Hello. Good afternoon. This is the hot seat. Hello. Oh my God. Hello. That person is probably not hearing. Okay. Um, let's move ahead. Now. Okay. Yeah. I want us to talk, mm. touch on something else. Mm. I want us to pay a quick visit mm. to local governments. Mm. And I'm coming to your state now. Yeah. Okay. Excuse me. Hello. Okay. Good afternoon. This is the hot Hello. seat. Hello. Good evening. Yeah. Your name, sir. Where Hello. are you speaking from? My name is Alan Wood. I'm calling from Ibadan. Alan Wood, you from where in Ibadan? From uh, Mamiya. Mamiya Ibadan. Very quickly, sir. Yes. I want to contribute to the, the, to the issue of uh, what is going on in Nigeria. Please go ahead, sir. Very Concerning quickly. Our yeah. Concerning our president. Okay, sir. 
I think Mr. President is supposed to resign. Okay. He's supposed to resign. You know that they are coming now, they are not capable of government in Nigeria. Everything, inflation all, all over the all over the world in Nigeria. Mr. President did not say he's no longer capable. He said he's tired. He did not say he's no longer capable. So they're supposed to resign. We are okay. tired of them. Okay, thank you, sir. So, thank you. <laughs> thank you, sir. Yes, on local governments. Yes. Uh initially it was issue of uh I think two local governments being on suspension. I think Idogo mm -hmm. and Dalon should go. Oh, yeah. Now, but later, this directive came from the State House of Assembly mm -hmm. to say that in two weeks mm -hmm. they should submit reports of what <laughs> their achievements are. Mm -hmm. And there's been so much noise in the past that local governments have not been getting money. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. it means that they have been given, getting money because if they've not been getting money, mm -hmm. no one will ask them for accountability issues. Issue, yeah. What do you think is going on? <laughs> uh, you know, when you look at the um, local government system in Nigeria, yeah, that will have delivered a lot of democratic dividends to Nigeria, but that system has been bastardized. Excuse uh, me, sir. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Hello, good afternoon. The hot seat. Hello, good afternoon. Sir. Very quickly, sir. Your name, where are you calling from? Uh, Mayor Ogundiwin. I'm calling from Ogun State, uh, from Elisha Remo. Ogundiwin from Elisha Remo. Go ahead, sir. Well, uh, I hope we have not passed that stage. I just do not want us to continue to excuse this man on the basis of tiredness. Okay, okay. Or, okay. Yeah. Okay, so sir. Because we need to know the time he lost the strength. Since he came in 2015, has he shown any strength? So it is not about tiredness. Okay, sir. Thank it you very much, what sir. What is happening is deliberate. He knows what he's doing. Okay, thank you, sir. I think you have made your point. Now, yeah. Dr. Huff yeah, yeah, so as I was saying, local governments are supposed to be a veritable tool for promoting grassroots development yeah. where people are residing. Now, you see a constitution that was imposed on us. There are a lot of contradictories in that constitution. Okay. Section 7 okay. gave local government to the state that states should control if you read that section section seven, seven yeah give the local government, local to, government the states to, the state to control to control because the same, one. by the law of the house of assembly by the law of the they have administer they will you know in the friend finance everything now section 318 that defines government in nigeria says okay. government is defined as government at the federal the state and, and the local, local government and that means that uh, the powers that was set aside for you know uh, federal government they were clearly stated in the constitution good powers for the state, state clearly stated but where are the powers for the state for the local government only the functions and the function that we have there they are mandatory functions to be controlled by the state the second one is permissive functions what they allow them to do you are confusing me sir <laughs> you know when you look at you know the constitution yeah there are powers yeah allocated legislative power executive power judicial power at the federal at the state but at the local you can't see any power now the joint accounts issue is also with there the joint account is just for accountability to know what gets in and to know what goes out and for what who is supposed to control that account the the control yeah you know uh, uh, that, that control should be in inverted comma because it's not major control, to manage Okay, manage okay. to manage so who is supposed to manage the state okay by its law but the state does not have any power to disburse any money or to spend to spend any money you know without the consent of the local government in fact from what the nfiu the directive that that thing is supposed to go directly the only thing that there will be a stopover because it is not only a location from the federal government that is meant for local government there is also what statutory allocation from the state okay so that everything we pull together and for the sake of accountability you know we have that state local government joint account now are you saying the states are also yes. supposed to give them yes yes and the federal is also supposed to give, give them. them yeah and that is why you know the the local the the, the state government has been you know has usurped that power 
you know that was meant for local government to do budget allocate resources so where is the control the of the house of assembly in all this the control of assembly is just to have guidelines laws okay enabling laws that will ensure that there's transparency in the spending you know of the money and also who will be you know uh, uh, spending the money and what they are going to spend the money so for. If, the, if the if the state government is interfering and is blessing the state it's they, 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 they arrested out of assembly or any state of assembly must not say anything the old what they're supposed to do is that when the money get to the local government mm -hmm. they're supposed to hold local government accountable for the spending for the spending okay they're supposed to report to them mm -hmm. and if there's any mismanagement report of mismanagement then they can also will take you know position they can make you know uh, uh, they can move a motion there can be an enabling law that we check that you know uh, uh, the mismanagement of, 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 of resources but what we have now is you know state government disbursing the money that you know is meant for local government can you imagine the nfiu said that between 2008 and 2018 yeah. 14.7 14 trillion were allocated to the local government tell me 4.7 trillion you can go and check it from 2008 10 years 10 years and that you know, that means we are talking about 1.47 trillion per year on the average okay so what can we say they have used 1.47 trillion for what can you you know point to if you go to most local government I, I, i'm very close to them you see they are on tad even within now the question, is, now the question is you see we are not able to know i don't know whether you know because you are yeah. close to them mm. how much really gets to the local governments what is getting to local government is not what's up what in fact is not up to what so to get to them and are you aware it's been, too it's been determined by the governor are you aware too that these state government i mean mm. these local governments yes that the state government also supports them and they are indebted in some cases to the state government in fact they take debt on behalf of local government and they spend the money for their own project in fact you can you just imagine you know uh, the quantum of money going to local government that are that have been what diverted by look by the state government Be and that was why nfiu was empowered you know, intelligence, to, uh, Nigeria, you know financial intelligence was unit financial intelligence unit, yeah. you know to to look at misappropriation of funds by uh, at all level of government and they now said where they have already you know they have already have a problem is this state local government joint what yeah. account okay in terms of disbursement and they gave directives what that's supposed to op, supposed to be operated right from first june to 2019 that 500 000 naira is the you know the maximum they can you know withdraw from their account daily and two when the money comes okay. it should go to the account of there should be another account that you know after you know leaving the federal government whatever yeah the state will have its own yes that money supposed to go to a, a, an account meant the for local government, government alone they can now begin to monitor what they spend what they use the money for but yeah, what, what, what as of today you know they've gone to court two times or three times yeah and nf nfiu has won the, all those cases that they have you know the right to impose those uh you know guidelines but the state they are still hiding on that uh, section 162 that state you know joint local government account is something that's you know provided by the country now why do you think so the the state state that, uh, okay. all over nigeria now mm. why do you think the state governments are interested in these local government funds and we keep saying the local governments are not performing yeah how would they ever perform you know and who is supposed to talk that is not talking i mean who is supposed to bring about the check and balances, balances in this regard yeah you know when we got it wrong is when after the 1999 general elections okay. 2003 okay that was when they said local government will be the last election to be conducted okay hold on sir. okay hello good afternoon this is agiri boo on 88.7 yeah. fm this is said the once more okay very good to say mm -hmm. the local government were getting their phone directly yeah go and find out they started holding primary school teachers for a month 
Very good. So I'm not supporting anybody. The bottom line is that Nigeria is full of prodigal, prodigal peace. Very good. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Mr. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, it's very good. It's it's very very good. good. Yeah, we're talking about corruption. Let me tell you know, some people are saying that, uh, oh, let us cancel local government because there is corruption there. I'm, 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 I'm borrowing the sense from what uh, Mr. Yeah, I'm telling you, that's what I'm telling you. Okay. It, the, the kind of corruption he has mentioned now yeah. at local government level, are we not witnessing it in, in the state? Are we not witnessing it what, in the, in, in, in the federal government? Just uh, owing, owing salaries of workers. State government. Owing salaries of workers. What we need to get right is due process. If somebody is not doing it right, the way supposed to be, you know, do it, do, 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 why can't we arrange that person and send the person to court? Now, when the local governments mm. were receiving their funds, funds, they were not paying. Yeah. Do you think it is now wrong for the state governments? They were not paying. To take over. Mm. I mean, the control of disbursement to ensure what that the local governments do what they were supposed what to do. What we're supposed to do. Yeah. Is to find out why they are doing why that. they are doing that okay and so we should prevent it from happening again by getting people prosecuted to serve as deterrence you know because the corruption we are talking about is so endemic that we can see it you know so pervasive at the federal level at the state level and at the local government level so if they want to scrap local government they should scrap federal government and scrap what state government that's the problem you know the problem has is not has to do with the people but the kind of law that we are we are talking about, the political will to enforce the law, you know, to make sure that those who are handling resources of the people, you know, are made what I can't tell you what for the resources. But you know, I was saying something that uh, we got it wrong after 2000, 2003 election. 1999, you know, because before 1999 election, we conducted local government election in 1998. Very credible. Very credible. You have, you know, across board, across part, political parties. You have councillors, you have a chairman, not only one party, you know, was in charge. And that makes sure that, they, you know, they were doing the right thing. Because if you are not in the opposition, if you are not in the ruling party, you are in the opposition, you have to do what is right. So that they will not sack you. Mm -hmm. But now that the election is now being conducted by the state, after the election, no state governor will want local government chairman and councillors that will oppose, you know, his policies. So, in all this, what do you think the whole state House of Assembly is looking for? By asking what they are looking, these... you know, what they are looking for, yeah. you know, there are some people that maybe they have stepped on toes. Okay. Because, yeah. yeah. So, and, you know, by, I mean, okay, by having a, bla a blanket, what, you know, uh, 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 a committee that will look at the whole local government, okay. the examiner lo local government, they may have their target. And you look at the two local government that was mentioned earlier. Yeah. They were accused of not paying the traditional rulers. As I went to the traditional ruler wrote the governor and wrote the national the House of Assembly. So they will not say, okay, because of those two, maybe there are others. Or there are people who are already what doing what is not in the template. Let me let me tell you this, you know, uh, and the whole public. Mm -hmm. When there was a uh, when they when they were elected in 2019 was it uh, 2019 you know those local government uh, chairman yeah he said i was one of those who gave them lectures oh okay you understand yeah and some of them said all those things you are telling us we know them but the problem has to do with the undue interference of the state governor in fact they were told that they should not have their initiatives they should not have any agenda the agenda the any agenda they have should be key in into the agenda of Mr. Governor. I see. And in the constitution, they said democratically elected local government council is recognized. Not some, 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 somebody being appointed. And some of them don't talk because of the way they were recruited. What do you mean recruited? They were voted. It, it, that's political recruitment. Whether voting, appointing, or selection. Okay. It's selection. You understand? That was why no single local government award was won by the opposition party everything by you know the ruling party and that was what happened under APC when Ajima was there and if you follow continue to follow the trend that's why I said financial autonomy is not enough there must be political autonomy there must be administrative autonomy when you have financial autonomy 
and somebody is recruiting you to, to go and do his bidding, are you going to say you have direct access to, to your fund or you have finance autonomy? Because somebody who would, you know, dictate, uh, 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 play the uh, whatever, dictate the tune. Because it is the governor who put it there. It is not for you to go and sabo. It is to go and chop. You are you? Uh, that's what I'm telling you. They are not telling you to go and to go and serve anybody. Anybody it is to go and chop. Because if they allow credible election that was conducted by high neck, you know the like the like of those you know that, that were conducted by high neck in 1998, we will have overcome this problem. But they said they should have their own state independent electoral commission. Fine, but how are you doing it? In Lagos, in you know, even to the north, even to the south. Are you, are you by way proposing that maybe the I need to come back? I, I need to come back and let us conduct local government election before any general election. You will see what will happen. Because by the time local the, the, the governors you know have won the election, you they will detect. We will work with them. But if we conduct local government election first, first you will know who, who is who, and we now have. You know different political parties feed the candidates because you cannot be loved by all the title you know, not that you government in the in your state no. or 351 local uh, uh, wards so why are we having only one political party across nigeria that's what they do let i conduct the election the way they are conducting other elections and let us do away with the state oh, don't forget because it's elections. already biased already you cannot be a judge in your own case but in this case they are also you know a, a judge in their own case where does the national assembly stand in this for yeah. correctness you know national assembly has said it yeah financial autonomy but it has to go to the all the houses of assembly in the state for them to have two thought but the even the look at the house of assembly itself majority of them are not supporting the, the bill yeah. because they have been controlled by the governor they are not support even the bill that we give them that will free them from the you know the apron of uh, whatever the governor they are not supporting even let let you know financial autonomy they are not supporting because they are so you know tied they, they have their, their own clothes that don't to the apron of, of the governor so to the extent that they don't even know they cannot do something independently so the president is very powerful very ah to powerful. and the governors are very powerful that's why Obama not describe them as emperors and you know what yeah, an emperor was an emperor. you know yeah you know they, they, they are there everywhere and that's why you always have classes between the, the governor and the deputy governor you have class you know classes between you know governor and the national the senators okay. because if you know they also they want to the governors want to control their jurisdiction the way the president controls the entire constituency in nigeria let's quickly take this call hello good afternoon this is the hot seat on i get it eight point seven once more and the last uh -uh. I hope that is not Mr. Sb abandoning again. <laughs> okay, go ahead. No, no, one minute, one minute. Our time is uh, fast. Well, yeah. Half a minute. Half. Oh, yeah. Nigeria has a constitutional problem. If we have the best constitution in the whole world, we will not make it work. What you will do and lose your life in China? If you do, you can you will be celebrated. Thank you, Buba. <laughs> okay, thank you, sir. You know, and, it, it, until that problem can be solved okay how listen you know when you know people if i don't i'm not qualified for something yeah i don't go for it okay. but in nigeria when you know you are not qualified there are other ways of getting it and nobody will punish you excuse me hello who is on the line please hello yeah this the hot seat my name is fakir you know fakir you do you do where from sir i'm calling from here Okay, go ahead, sir. Very good. One minute. Hello? Oh, my God. We lost him. You know, I'm talking about attitudinal problem. Yeah. And that is why we are saying our concerns should be what should be reviewed. If you are not going to have a new one, it should be reviewed. You know, the present constitution favors the political elite. They have so many provisions that can take them in and retain them there. Do you think this constitution... Mm can ever get a proper review the way we are going that was why i will always I will because i'll always remember mm. that it was after excuse me chief was sworn in mm. as president yes. in 99 mm. that that constitution was handed over to him mm. whether he knew anything about it or not i don't mm. know mm. but if chief mm. kept quiet for eight years mm. and was binded mm. 
by that constitution. The constitution cannot be amended by those who are benefiting from the from the anomalies, and that's why I will support what uh, Baba Lola, Baba Lola said. What said. God did Baba say? Remind that me. After the expiration of these, you know, people who are there now. Okay, this let, a, let us have a stopover for six wood months and sit down and resolve some of those issues. So who is going to initiate that? It, you know, they are they are bureaucrats, they are civil servants who are top whatever. Who can do that because you know it's not a matter of uh, oh we must have the national assembly. The national assembly is presently you know benefiting. The members are benefiting. And look at the, so many reforms they said they are going to make to the constitution. How many of them have they made? Even the one that's supposed to be for election, you know how they drag the thing, you know, among themselves. That Mr. President now he loaded it over them and say if you don't put uh, consensus and indirect whatever, I will not sign the bill. Okay, <laughs> 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 very quickly, let me just uh, attend to this. Uh, mm. uh, this real uh, one, Lahi Abidin Raji says, Good afternoon. Okay, Lawali, do good afternoon. Adeni G, I know you are poor. Good afternoon. Akiva Lee Tundi Olalekun and mentality autonomy. I don't understand. Uh, <laughs> Murayo Fola Shadek says, Kudos to this man in the studio. I like him, he's outspoken mm. and factual. God bless him. That's for you, sir. Thank you. And God Thank will you save Nigeria. Much. Uh, Messiah is on the way. We are looking forward. Um, okay, I couldn't get that one. Could I get this, please? Let's very look at it very quickly. It's a pity that's total I mean, that It's a pity that our political elites here have turned politics into business and a do or die affair, which is why President Buhari could still be in power. Okay, let me take this last call. Hello, good afternoon. This is the hot seat. Uh, good afternoon, sir. Yeah, very quickly. Where are you speaking from? I'm Engineer Wally Obasan from the area of New Bundeku. Engineer Wally Obasan. Obasan, okay, sir. Uh, so, uh, that's the thank you uh, because you are trying to move Nigeria forward. Thank you, so sir. God bless you all. Amen, sir. Bye bye. Bye. Dr. Lafamba. You know, <laughs> the president, the former president of America has said it that what we need is our institutions to be, to be strengthened, not individual. Strengthening of institutions, institutions than and making our law enforceable so that uh, we will not have individuals that we, you know, have his interest above the public interest. And on that note, Dr. Lafengwa, I'd like to thank you for coming on the hot seats really on Agiri Great 8.7 FM Ibadan, your state, Nigeria, mm -hmm. today, mm -hmm. the 14th of uh, mm -hmm. August 2022. It's been a pleasure having you around. Thank, Thank you so you much, much for having me. And until next week, I remain yours sincerely for you can do nothing against the truth. But for the truth, I am Ola Olu. Ola Tbosan. Thanks for joining us. Good afternoon. <laughs>